Welcome to On The Fly Angers. In today's video, I'll be chasing the giant pyramid. I have been three days or four, like facing that giant species, about 40 to 50 pounds of pyramid, and some barracuda still in the shallow water. So today, I'm hoping to hook that fish and land it. All right, just before to go and try those flies, I want to show you what exactly I'm using today. I will be testing some of these flies. These are the flies I made last night. I tied them really quick. Just, I'm going to be just testing the colors here around the water, the bottom, just, just matching the bottom. And I will, I will just test what this giant permit needs or, or what eats. I don't know exactly what it is, but hopefully one of those is going to hook that permit. This fly here is the one that caught the 45 pound permit the last time. So the record of the Riviera Maya, that exact pattern. So I'm going to be trying the olive, like this very simple crab. This red head, crab to sand color white legs and this one too with some some quartz on top some rocks like kind of tan color sand color so i'll be testing these flies today and if i hook one on one of those flies i'll be sharing with you exactly how how i made this fly so let's go and try them okay i think i have a, a bonefish cool in front of me so i'm gonna be just trying on those crabs and see how it works. Cool. It's been a long time not seeing bonefish in this area, but thanks God they're back. Oh yeah, I see them. They're flashing right now. I can I can see the spot is right there. I don't know if you see where my rod is pointing. Right there. Try to get them. Oh, they are little baby permits. Big school. I thought they were bones. is right there, little baby pyramids cruising around. Oh, they're big. There's some nice sized pyramids there. All right, guys, for this little baby pyramid, I usually use a um, uh, pink crazy Charlie or small shrimp pattern in size six or eight. Sometimes four could work, but a smaller better because they're it's small. Look, one cast, made a cast. Right there. That is a little pampano. There's a nice permit in right in the middle of those those pampano school. Uh, well, this is a pampano, and that is a crazy Charlie on pink color. Where the fly is out, right there. And this is the fish, pompano, back in the water, in the front. No, 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 no. The little ones attacking the fly first. I want to get the permit that these pompanos are driving crazy about this little pattern all right so look this pampano swims very fast and they shake too much all right same pattern same fish walk and walk the flats Try to find some crevasse and bonefish. Let's see. Okay, now 
Now I see the permit. These are the permits. I missed it. There's a school, a little baby permit. But the Pampano took it first. Ah. I'll try to release this fish quick. Oh, this is very big. Same pattern. You know? I'll try to hook that little permit that is in the front. It's bigger than that. Well, I couldn't catch that permit because there's so many pampanos and the pampano is more aggressive than the permit. So, uh, pampano is striking first my fly and I'm landing many of them and I need that uh, permit. The, it is quite hard right now. When the permit school is only permit, no pump on the mix, it's easier. Well, I'm gonna walk a little more and maybe hook a cribal or something, hopefully. Let's see. That is a 40 pound permit right in front of me. Very big. Beautiful permit. Already cast some flies to it. Very picky. I'll be, I'll be trying all my patterns and hopefully hook this little little fish. All right. So this giant permit has been swimming around me. I tried a few patterns. I tried the only one. He came chasing the fly, but you know what happens? Late if it just grabbed the fly and snapped my litter right off. But there is coming now. I'm gonna try to hook that fish. Right in front of me cruising. I'm gonna try to make a better cast. Right there. He was following my fly, but he kind of regrets a little bit. Oh, look at that barracuda. Giant cuda as well. So there's cuda. There is a giant permit. <laughs> a beautiful day. It's coming in front of me about 35 feet out. Oh, and I got stuck on a rock.
was a sight for my soul. Hey everyone, next day uh, on the flight anglers. Yesterday I couldn't catch that big permit. I hook it, I snapped my leader, but hopefully today I'm gonna find it again and hook that fish and land it. I'm bringing a paddle board just in case if I need to go deep water because that permit might just swim way, way, way out to deep water and my back end's not enough. So that paddle board's gonna help me a lot. So let's go for it. Okay, now it's the second day. So I'm gonna paddle to the permit spot and try to find this permit again and hopefully land this fish. Okay, so conclusion for all these permits I've been chasing, in my experience, these crabs here are the best I have ever used. Yesterday I was trying on this little olive color like that and it was very effective. The permit was running fast trying to pick it up but that later fish just strike the first. Then this little crab is the one uh, I was using when I hook and snap that leader. That's the second crab I was using. This color. It is just um, a furry foam crab with uh, pieces of quartz, like a type of uh, like river rocks on top. So. This type of flies will work for giant permits, for big ones, big permits. Well, permit is very difficult, it's not an easy fish as you can see, but I'll keep going on this permit. This is the next day since I hooked that fish and snapped my leader. I'm waiting for this fish to come back, feeding to this area. And if I catch that fish, I'll be posting the next video when I'm landing that fish. So stay tuned for the next video. I think it's gonna be the end of this day. Hopefully, if that permit come back, I will share with you the next video. So there's some tips I want to share with you that are very important. Is like the mistake I made was stripping my line uh, when I set the hook. I set to too hard because I was coming out of the tarpon season and I have set my hook very very strong so be focused on a permit be be focused on how delicate that liter is 12 pound liter or whatever pounder test you have liter be focused on that the pressure you're gonna go set the hook let it run so softly and you'll keep the fish and if you get to face one one of these giant fish like permit 45 pound 50 pound by experience I could tell they will take more than 
500 meters backing and it's quite hard to land one of those big ones so you need a boat or you need a paddle board to, to chase that fish out. Bueno amigos, conclusión en español para las palometas. Tenemos la palometa gigante como la que viste en el video. Esa palometa come ese tipo de cangrejos que les mostré, los, los cangrejos hechos de, de furry foam. Eh, Estaré haciendo un video sobre cómo hacer ese, ese cangrejo con pedazos de piedras encima. Es muy fácil de hacer. Tenemos ese, es, esa palometa gigante que es de 40, 45 libras, eh, hasta 50 libras. Esos comen ese tipo de cangrejos. Tenemos la palometa que es grande, que es, pesará alrededor de 20, 25 libras. Eh, esa palometa come los cangrejos que le llaman redhead, los que tienen las dos plumitas delante del anzuelo, entre el anzuelo en el medio salen dos plumas adelante, pueden tener furry foam, este, el avalon fly, son mantis shrimp podría ser también, tenemos la palometa que es la mediana, la mediana come eh, mantis shrimp, eh, cualquier tipo de camarón, con el saco de huevos naranja o verde funcionan muy bien ese tipo de, de, de moscas en forma de camaroncitos y ya el, la pequeña palometa, la, la bebé que pesará alrededor de, no sé, de una libra o, o dos libras pequeñas comen pues Crazy Charlies pequeños comen camaroncitos muy pequeños de diferentes colores son muy curiosas atacan eh, le tiras cangrejos grandecitos no lo comen no, no son muy no traen el instinto de comer cangrejos todavía comen como más camaroncitos en la superficie persiguen son muy muy agresivas espero te guste el video eh, si te gusta por favor deja un like suscríbete al canal porque estaré subiendo más videos en español sobre pesca de jurel, pesca de palometa, pesca de macabí, el bonefish y para sábalo también estaré explicando en mi experiencia lo que he vivido en el mar mucho tiempo haciendo fly fishing y pues espero disfrutes el video y los próximos videos también Alright guys, so conclusion here for this fish, this giant permit this giant permit is eat those crabs uh, these crabs here on the picture large permit big permit eats this type of flies avalon a mantis shrimp could be a redhead crabs this work really well for this like big permit and medium size permit about 10 8 pounds that's a medium sized permit I've seen very skinny, different shape. They're beautiful. They attack more mantis shrimp in size six. And tan color could be brown with a little bit of orange, some purple juicy legs. Baby permit, they attack little, little flies like Crazy Charlie, mantis shrimp. And any fly, any buggy fly, they will attack that. I mean, I'm talking about um two pound one pound i should probably talk about how to set this fish and the different sizes probably this bit is too long already but i'm gonna explain a little bit more about the setting and the permit giant permit you need to throw the fly maybe 10 foot of of liter uh, 12 pound tippet they can see the line throw that crab when they come towards you throw the crab about I don't know three meters in front of the of the permit let it sink while he's approaching to the fly then just move the fly very slow back and stop until they meet your fly if you move to like a little bit fast and then slow it will be just running away from your fly 
they very spooky and they very sensitive about that these motions in the water so when you cast your fly let it sink just measuring when you drop your fly it's coming towards you it's gonna be approaching to the fly the fly is landing touching the water not splashing too much but while the time is sinking the fish is gonna be like meeting the fly if they get to see the fly in front of them while it's sinking they was just gonna suck the fly in set little set and they, they will have it in the mouth and in the cheek or the lip they have a big lips like rubber li lips so it's very easy to go through this little like rubber a leap little set and let it run because it's a big fish they will swim very slow like going away probably feeling a little more it's, for them it's quite difficult to realize that they got caught and on a hook they will keep swimming keep swimming until they realize there's some tension there they'll start swimming a little bit faster they're not running like the other like smaller permits they'll go but they will take a lot of line way too much line so this is the way to set this fish next fish uh, the big uh, permit the big permit like redhead crab drop drop the flies could be flex or crab as well drop that fly let it sink by this if it is cool around of this fish they will probably swim away but they already saw the fly is what they usually do they, they see the fly they swim away and then they come back quick picked up the fly and run very strange behavior of this fish but it's very very interesting you never know it's different every time it's different but usually they come pick the fly and run just pick the fly and start swimming back to the school when they're alone it's a little bit more tricky because you have to like find out where it's going because they don't go straight to one spot they just decide to turn around left some degrees and come back again and go to the direction that just zigzagging so you have to kind of go beyond and something a feeling inside will say ah, it probably go to that place i draw my fly before it goes there and if it goes it will see your fly you could probably just drag your fly a little bit or maybe try to go fast and try to get that instinct instinct from this fish to chase your fly you never know so just try first with your with your fly stationary in the sand probably they, they suck it in and swim and just set and let them go or strip a little faster when they see your fly or strip like long but constantly and maybe they picked it up you never know it's a medium sized permit that is a little bit more easier throw the fly in front of the school or when they're alone just a couple strips like for bonefish strip strip and they will start chasing a little bit when you see that they start making some longer strips a little longer than before and then stop a little and then goes a little shorter strip fast and they will just grab your fly and they will start running with it that's usually the way I catch those little ones they're more aggressive they follow more the motion and the surface with these shrimps the baby permit is easy buggy flies throw cast strip fast and they will just grab the fly easy well so till here this video is way too long I don't know if, it's, if I'm gonna use all everything I'm recording so Thanks for watching the video i'll be just posting some more about the giant permit hopefully one of these days get to land it stay tuned in the channel leave a comment below leave a like subscribe because i know i'm gonna land a permit i'm getting to know where exactly feeds and i'm gonna be like ready with my paddleboard because i'll need it to go way out to the deep water it might take two to three hours to land that fish it's not easy fish I had it before and it was about two hours with help with somebody else but this time I'm trying to get it by myself 
and hopefully I land it by myself with a pile board probably it's possible well so thanks for watching the video I'll be just posting some more in the next ones so see you soon